Okay, so here we're going to see the evolution of singlet oxygen upon the addition of sodium dichloroisocyanurate, which is available as a pool chemical, into a solution of 35% hydrogen peroxide. Contrary to what the name implies, singlet oxygen is still a diatomic oxygen molecule. However, the electron configuration of singlet oxygen is at a higher energy state than normal. When singlet oxygen is formed, it decays immediately into normal oxygen. And to go from this higher energy state to a lower energy state, it emits red light. So hopefully, we'll see this in action. Also, this same effect can be seen with the addition of trichloroisocyanuric acid into hydrogen peroxide. Trichloroisocyanuric acid is also available as a pool chemical. Another way to view this reaction is through bubbling chlorine into an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide. So, let's get started. Okay, so I'm now going to turn off the lights and slowly add the sodium dichloroisocyanurate into the hydrogen peroxide. There we go. Okay, we should be able to see a red glow form as we add the chemical. That was the evolution of singlet oxygen from sodium dichloroisocyanurate and hydrogen peroxide. Thanks for watching.